looking at a Caspar David Friedrich, a German Romantic artist. It's a painting called A Walk at Dusk, and it dates to somewhere between 1830 and 1835. And it's a small, so it's a late Friedrich. Yeah, it's a really and it's late one. Small. It's only maybe sixteen By inches. By eighteen inches, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's small. Yeah. And it's so recognizably a Friedrich. You it know, is. it's got this a lone figure, a lone figure, and kind of twilight or dusk, dusk, deep dusk. Yeah. And of course, it's got a kind of Neolithic tomb or megalith or something. Right. Something. You've got uh, a, a large stone that, placed on a, a series kind of, of coffin shape. That's right. A small figure of a man standing and, nearby, and, looking at the tomb. Yeah. Obviously, and, contemplating mortality and the ancient and meaning of life and whether there was. There's life after death. The ways that we could sort of transcend the human lifetime in a number of different ways, mm -hmm. right? Because you've got this figure himself contemplating perhaps his own death. I think the museum has suggested that this may even be Friedrich. But then you've got this, he's contemplating death in front of a really ancient tomb, mm -hmm. right? A tomb that's probably 4,000 years old. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, you know, what does death mean in that kind of historic time frame? Right. And then you've got nature itself. Right, and you've got, in a kind of wintry landscape, I think, right? With the bare trees. Yeah, trees that have lost their leaves. At least in the and, foreground, yeah. Right. Yeah. So you've got this notion of a kind of renewal in nature. Right. And then you've got the sky. And actually the whole thing is just this this sort Purplish, of beautiful grayish yeah. greens. Yeah, and, yeah. He yeah. really indulged in this sort of somber, quiet, yeah. contemplative yeah. state. But you can think about it as a kind of modern religious painting. You know, Absolutely. Of a contemplation of but the meaning of life. I mean I think we're supposed to identify with that figure and I think we be step there right at into that it. moment. Yeah, in yeah. Nature alone, yeah. in the very quiet at dusk. And in a way, the end of life, in a way, metaphor. So, do you think that that's the way that Friedrich wanted his paintings to sort of be approached quietly, perhaps individually? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure that the museum setting is exactly right for it, yeah. with the sort of noise of people in the public. Some of his paintings are actually quite altar-like in that's that sense, true. and they're and so the contemplative and, and spiritual. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's often a quality of that, and, yeah. and certainly we see that here. And then we've got the sort of offset. I mean, it's a really interesting kind of composition because you've got the the small man placed in a diminished scale mm -hmm. in nature, especially against the mass of yeah. that rock. You've got these trees that grow up. Up from the rock, from, almost. That's right. And then, of course, you've got an image of the moon and a couple of stars or planets that mm -hmm. maybe are just becoming visible mm -hmm. uh, as, the, as the night darkens. Yeah. It's really, it's yeah. quiet, it's beautiful. And it's this moment in history when this, this romantic, romantic moment when I think artists are looking for new ways of representing presenting the spiritual. Right. And what, by romantic, we don't mean like the normal usage of our way of using the word romantic. No, no, not in terms of, of no, love. Something more right. emotional, something more... Expressive. Expressive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that really privileges human emotion. Mm -hmm. I think that's, exactly, that's yeah. exactly right.